It's going to be a joint yes, operation between us and the CDF. I've alluded to it, but uh, here it comes. As you know, we've repeatedly hailed the riders to no avail, combined with their repeated hostilities towards us. And the, our word from our allies, the CDF, their destruction will be our primary objective today. Well, I honestly despise being used for others' objectives, the CDF has promised us that they'll divert all resources to um, assist us in making the jump gate back to Earth, connecting the system back to Earth. Well, I can't say for sure that they're completely honest, and I'm reluctant to take them at their word. The chance to end this before it even starts is too good not to take. We don't want another long uh, wolf system again. These two factors has me considering I think the risks are worth the rewards here. That being said, and if an opportunity arises to talk to the the riders, I uh, I intend to take it. That being said, Exo, uh, I want you to patch in the CDF commander. We'll be doing a joint briefing here. Hi, sir. Admiral Mallard is patched in. Captain Brock, crew of the Eternity. Greetings. I apologize for the confusion earlier, and promise that I will be more transparent from here on out. I assure you the destruction of the Rider Menace is everyone's top priority. Yeah, so you say. And of course, building up the jump gate back to Earth. Yeah, yeah. We're on the clock. Let's get to this uh, briefing. Of course, the CDF and certainly the Riders did not expect the Eternity, and thus were scattered around the system. Only Aventine Squadron is ready for immediate deployment. Other squadrons are mobilizing as we speak. However, myself and the captain believe we can use this to our advantage. And we believe a preemptive strike will be better than waiting for assets to accumulate. Thus, the EFN Eternity and Dauntless Squadron will be making the assault on the Cantina today at 1700 hours. Intel reports of the Cantina are widely known. The riders like to flex all their meager assets. However, for once, they are not exaggerating. The Cantina is heavily armed and could likely hold off multiple CDF squadrons without breaking a sweat. With the Eternity, however, Captain. Yep. All right, turns out the Cantina is always guarded by most of the Riders' fleet, as they're sticking to mostly low ship count incursions into civilian areas, with the majority of their muscle close to home. However, with the arrival of the Eternity, uh, the CDF has figured out they've dispersed most of their assets uh, to form a single light defensive squadron around the Cantina. Two destroyers at most. Reaction time is roughly two to three hours from the uh, support squadrons, meaning we have that window to destroy their base. This is our opportunity. 
All right, so the Eternid will lead uh, a formation into battle. We will close distance, halt at 17 kilometers, and engage the station until it is rendered disabled. From there, we will be using our dorsal batteries. We will be firing full cyclic, maximum allowed fire rate. Admiral, your end. The destroyers Vimino and Catalyst will be on reaction to any attack force at 10 kilometers and provide an offensive screen for the Cantina Defense Force, enabling the Eternity con to continue our fire missions uninterrupted. The frigate Celius and the command ship Dauntless will hang back with the Eternity and scout for any potential QRF forces. Should a large attack force be sighted, the formation will shift to deal with said force and defeat it piecemeal. We do not engage within weapons range of the Cantina. Speaking of which, the Cantina has an unknown effective firing range. If she is able to engage us effectively at our 17 km standoff, we will simply shoot and scoot. 100 rounds per volley, the CDF formation will follow us in formation. Once the station is disabled, the CDF will close ranks, board, and force the surrender of the remaining rider uh, personnel. The Eternity at this point will provide overwatch. Any questions? We're good here, Captain. All right, let's get to it. We will signal you when we're ready to touch off. Osprey, 002 distance request copy. Distance, 50 kilometers in closing. Is he going at full speed? <laughs> I will inquire. Oh, it looks like our commanding our commanding officer decided to stop t posing. So, I don't think he's the commanding uh, officer. <laughs> Unless you uh, want to let me know about a mutiny there, uh, XO. <laughs> I, I meant the commander. Oh uh, no, sir! Just an alcoholic chief of engineering. Yeah, you know, I'm still. Is this whole ship of fucking like alcoholics? Is that the only way we can get through these fucking missions? Hold on, wait. Ah, uh, sir, this ship, this ship might as well be named after the EFN Alcoholics Anonymous. The, the, the alcohol is also Chief, maybe it. put down the bottle before this mission even starts. That's a bit too late, sir. Oh, Christ. I'm drinking as well. Are you actually, or are you just drinking Gatorade there, Lieutenant? You'll never know. Since it has a screw top, sir. I think we're pretty safe. Yeah. <laughs> Unless he's really an alcoholic and he's drinking out of a flask at home, then you know we're fucked. Oh god, yeah. And by at home, I mean the, the bridge. Uh, Osprey 002 reporting distance reached. Roger that. Tell him to send us back a GPS coordinate. Coordinate, uh, attack. Fuck it, just give just get him to send us a GPS coordinate. I'm not even gonna make him type. Yes, sir. Uh, he's also reported vessel ID Dreamweaver detected. Unknown class. Roger that. Let me know once you've uh, once we've got that GPS coordinate. Yes, sir. More Dolphin, can we get a zero check after. on weapon systems one last time? GPS is in. Roger that. Uh, XO, program our jump drive with the new GPS coordinate. Take us into condition one. Into condition one. Aye, sir. Jump drive program and enter, sir. Dolphin. All weapons are active. All weapons are active. Signal to the CDF. Stand by to jump on my mark. Sir, a message came back from the CDF. Standing by. Standing by? Okay, that means they're ready. All right, gentlemen, listen up. XO, I want you on dorsal guns for the fire mission. Aye, oh, sir. <clears throat> Reactivating hydrogen thrusters. Roger that. Stand by to jump. Dolphin, message CDF. Jumping in, uh, initiating jump in 20 seconds. On my mark. Message is sent, sir. 20 seconds out. Five seconds to jump. Stand by to jump. Jump. Tell the CDF to jump. Jumping. Grab a seat. Roger Sir. that. Helm. Nose down. 20 degrees. Dorsal. Nose stand down. by for fire mission. 20 degrees. Weapons, fire mission, cantina, 16,000 meters forward, 400 rounds, 10 guns in effect. Notify for 100 rounds fired. Call when ready. Fire mission, cantina, 10 guns, fire till they're empty. Aye, sir. Osprey just outside. 
Roger that. Weapon. Get him back in. Weapons trained. Roger that. Weapons release. Uh, Dolphin, let the CDF know we're engaging. Roger that. Let me know when we hit uh, 450. Hi, sir. Receiving message from Cantina. Uh. Roger that. Cease fire. Cease fire. Hi, sir. Last shell goes away. Roger that. What's the message read? This is the Wild Cantina Battleship Eternity's Advent. We wish to parlay. Please respond. This message will now repeat. Huh. I guess they didn't like our assault. This might be our chance to get a word in with the riders. Uh, return on closed channels, encrypted. Uh, message back, uh, what was it? They called the Wild Cantina? Wild Cantina, oh. Eternity, <clears throat> Parley accepted. Out. Tiber, get to the uh, Prepa Osprey for launch. Make sure the antenna is off. Aye, right, sir. She's already ready to go on the deck. Roger that. Get down there. Aye, right, sir. How are we going to let the CDF not know? <clears throat> Dolphin, stand by to send message to CDF. CDF Dauntless, Eternity. Um, Eternity is going undergoing re reload cycle. She'll need about 10 minutes. Disperse defensive formation to 5 kilometers distance from Eternity during reload cycle. Out. Sent. Roger that. Let's see if they Receiving take it. Receiving report. Receiving reply from the Wild Cantina. Send it. Message reads, This is the Wild Cantina. We have a landing pad available. Over. Is that on open comms again? Negative, sir. Alright, hopefully they got the message at least. Anything back from the CDF? Stand by. The CDF appear to be moving. Ever so slightly. XO, you have the uh, you have the ship. Hi, sir. Tell uh, sir. tell the chief to disperse weaponry so at least have some 400 mils in the secondary guns. Uh, Hi, sir. We're prob probably going to be primarily playing around the fob with 400s mostly de depleted. We'll be uh, hopefully back soon. XO, be advised, we're departing now. Actually, if you just hustle, we should be good. Just get, get us towards the cantina. Three kilometers? Roger that. Slow us down to half impulse. Fuck it, make it one-fourth. Um... Melons worth. Fuck it. Twenty-five meters per second, sir. Two kilometers in distance. DD zero one twelve melons worth. Okay, hopefully that'll work. We are slow coasting one quarter. Pretty sure that breaks like fifty different regulations. Don't you worry about it. I'm not, sir. The recording will prove my innocence. For the sun? No. Message, though. Uh, Lord of Rodor sends unknown vessel. Why are you squawking rider tags? Uh, he'll figure it out. Go land on their landing pad. Okay. Where is their landing pad? Uh, that's a damn good question. Uh, I think it's those bumblebee-looking things. We're on the bottom. That we're upside down. Makes sense. Yep. Those are watch some big your, guns. Watch your speed. We're zipping around at Mach gajillion. 
It's fun. Looks like there was some damage here. Let's not land on Rodor. Alright, here goes. This might be a terrible idea, Ensign Tiber. Stick with me, and uh, if shit goes wild, I don't know. Wing it. Nice, right, sir. You're looking awful small for a destroyer there, Melonsworth. Uh, yeah. Yeah, we had to uh, figure out a way to communicate without letting the CDF know what, what is up. Eh, I like your style. My name's... Well, I'm Fleet Admiral Rodor, but you can just call me Rodor. Good to see you, Rodor. Shall we uh, take this inside? I'm, uh, I'm here against the will of the CDF, if we want to call it that. I don't want to... Of course, of course. Follow me. Under better circumstances, I'd love to give you a proper welcome party with booze, girls, food, but, uh... Well, we sir, we're currently in the middle of a little bit of a sticky situation. Nothing you'd know about, I'm sure. Oh, yeah, no, that's... <laughs> Tyler, stick with us. That's Domo. Hi, I'm right behind you. Uh, hi, Domo. By the way, I, uh... I do apologize for us getting off on the wrong foot. Uh, I'm sure you were aware of, uh, I was made aware a little while ago of, uh, a certain Captain Takahashi attacking you when you arrived in system. Yep, yeah, that was, uh, that was quite one of the more warm welcomes I've ever received. Well, I'd like to officially apologize on his behalf. Uh, he went against direct orders and decided to engage you with his... Recon Squadron. Yeah, yeah, well, uh, he paid for it. Yeah. A good commander, but, uh, his b blood ran a little hot. <laughs> Seems so. to, uh, be the theme with the riders. Welcome to the cantina, gentlemen. It is quite the base. Indeed, indeed. Hey, we, uh... Storage. Yes. We, uh, we recently expanded, um... Although I would like to say, um, I apologize for our hostilities in the past, but I'd like you to know that I have given specific orders that you are not to be targeted offensively. We have only engaged you in defensive combat thus far. What about, uh, what about you attacking us on that first fleet vessel? Wait, wait, you were there? Oh, yeah, yeah, I guess that wasn't too obvious, was it? Well, um... I hope none of your f people were hurt, and I uh, hope you enjoyed the fireworks. Yeah, that was quite the battle you guys had with the CDF. You guys really like each other, don't you? <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah. You could say that. Ugh. I'll be real, if you don't mind. Uh, what was it? Uh, Admiral Rodor, you said? Yes, just call me Rodor. It's easier. Yes, uh, Rodor. Wow, this station just keeps going, huh? Um, yeah. well, step into my quarters. We can talk there. Good. All right. This is where we die. Oh, wow. <laughs> Shag carpet. What the... It... How? But... Sto right, Stow it, Ensign. Uh, Admiral Roder, as you might imagine, we've been gotten... We've, we've gotten the shtick from almost every faction in this system, and none of them line up, so... We came well, here deciding to hear your word on it, but note that I'm not particularly keen on anyone right now. Well, I can assure you, we may not do the most savory things, I won't lie, but we do not tell untruths. We ain't like those CDF corpo types. They're the types to spin you yarn so pretty you ain't gonna care that they're stealing your wool to make it. If you don't mind, uh, I'd like to hear things from your point of view. Oh, well, ask away if you have any questions. All right, from your point of honestly. view, uh, who or what are the CDF? CDF are a bunch of corpo boys who like having control around here and got themselves some very dangerous military toys to enforce that. They said something about defending the system and the civilians? Eh, they sort of do that, but uh, they only do it if you can, get, if you can pay them. Fair. We, uh, I guess yeah. on that note, they've told us some... Stories about you guys? What you get the riders, right? What 
What's your shtick? Oh, we believe in, well, the power of the individual and the freedom of choice. We, we dream of a world where, well, them corpo types aren't the kind, aren't the bosses of the whole party, you know? Something I can we, uh, respect. Yeah. We respect freedom, individuality, and we have a strict code of honor that we operate by. We, uh, again, I won't lie, we've done some unsavory things to get by, but, well, again, code of honor. Simple as that. Sounds like quite the sales pitch. How about the First Fleet? What are they in your eyes? They were, uh, well, complacent. They like to sit back and let things unfold in the under the guise of keeping things orderly. That's why I left. You left? Wait, you were part of the First Fleet? Yeah. Dad was part of the first wave of First Fleet into the system, and, uh, well, I tried to follow into his footsteps, but I couldn't take it. They just sat back, let people suffer, let the system go to shit, and, well, I grabbed a few good men, a few good ships, and started all this. Well, this is... kind of actually reminds me of the fortress. Um, <clears throat> you guys are probably not going to help us rebuild that gate, are you? <sighs> well, I'll be frank. Nobody out here really wants to get back into contact with Earth. Well, maybe the first fleet, but... CDF is too drunk on power, and he won't want to have to cede that back to Earth. And we have our own grievances against Earth. Fair enough, I guess. I think it's time the Eternity takes a step back. I think uh, you'll find in the next couple minutes you're going to have a big burden lifted from your shoulders. I might not be allies with you, but I'm certain I'm allies with no one right now, and... Uh... Like I said, I think the Eternity is going to take a step back for a second. <laughs> well, a little birdie just whispered in my ear that uh, you're going to want to pop some popcorn. I think I'm tracking. <laughs> Admiral Rodor, it's, uh, it's been a pleasure. I don't know if we're going to meet as friends or enemies next time, but uh, I appreciate the honesty and uh, I guess good luck with whatever you're trying to do. Likewise. If you don't mind, and, uh, we'll probably be getting going here soon. Uh, of course, of course. We kind of gave the out. CDF the slip. Of course. And just remember, if ever you change your mind, or just want a drink, there'll always be a space at the bar for you. We appreciate that. See you star side, brother. Yep. Oh, and uh, sorry about the um, the damage. Yeah... It'll just be give the repair boys a few days, weeks of work. We'll manage. We always do. Yeah. Happy trails. You know the way out, don't you? Uh, we'll, 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 maybe. <laughs> Tiber, There's you're signs good. if you can't figure it out. Tiber, you're good with directions, right? I'm really not, sir. Oh, fuck. Yeah. Oh, let me hit do, it. Shit. do it. Do it. Do it. All right, shut it. Get us out of here. All right, sir. Shut the door. Door closed. Whoa. What was that? Uh, that was me All bouncing right. around. All right, I'm going to turn this antenna off ASAP. What, what are we called again? Melonsworth? All right, sir. DD-0012 right. Melonsworth. Uh, might want to turn off your suit as well, sir. Roger that. Working on it. I'm just resetting the uh, antenna. Oh, hus hustle, hustle, hustle. We have a Vimino closing fast with us oh yes i see her might want to signal them to open the doors uh i think they'll notice us coming in range i'll blip the antenna Turbulence. eternity zero zero two coming back into range open the uh hangar door open hangar door door. Chief. Sure. good job chief exo give me a sit rep what's going on well uh CDF is getting a little suspicious of our e extraordinarily long reload cycle. Uh, did you, like, spin some lies about how we might have conveyor issues or something? Uh, yes, sir. Okay, we saw that over open comms. Good job. A lie that I would be proud of. Closing hand. Uh, your weapons fire was also detected, sir. Uh, that was in <clears throat> intentional? Uh, I figured. Um, yeah. I have, uh, attempted to 
I have attempted to convince them that it is residual fire or the return fire from the initial engagement, but I don't believe they bought it. I don't think it matters. I would hurry to the bridge, sir. I'm on the bridge. Captain on deck. Ah, perfect. Ensign on deck. Uh, gunnery too. <laughs> Exo, crew, listen up. This is important. Aye, sir. I talked to the commanding officer of the riders. They might not be the most honest, bu or the best bunch, but I do trust them, at least to tell us the truth about the state of the system, in the sense that I now know that I know nothing about the system. And I don't know about you guys, but I'm kind of sick and tired of being strung along by different factions. Effective immediately, we are breaking up our alliance with the CDF. We are not hostile with the CDF or riders, but we sure shit ain't their allies. They've given us too many lies about what's going on. And uh, I'm fucking over it. Help! Punch in a jump, tr uh, jump max distance. We're leaving the area. I say tell them that we have a Exo, jump stand by to uh, message the CDF. Let me know when you're good. Blind jump, max Prepare. distance. Preparing message, sir. Roger that. Eternity, or uh, sorry, CDF, Eternity. We no longer believe our alliance is in the best interest. We are dispersing the area. Break. The Earth is, op uh, Earth is open to future cooperation however not on the terms outlined eternity out jump us jumping take a seat let's ride i think you pissed them off sir oh i bet i did ah, apparently we're negotiating with terrorists <laughs> seizing comms with cdf Ooh, she's overcharging something fierce. Hey, Ensign, cut the chatter. Right, Focus sir. on your station. Activating reactors. Ship all stop. I'll stop. Take us out of condition one. Gentlemen, it's like it was always meant to be. We're on our own. Aye, sir. I think our first priority should be to... Uh, Reestablish our position in this system, but in order to do that, we're going to need supplies. We need ice and ammunition. Exo, I want you to chart a course towards that uh, that planet in this three o'clock uh, sector. I know there's a moon around it. After that, disseminate the information sent from the cantina, and uh, yeah, that'll do. Sir, large warp mm -hmm. signature detected near the cantina. Huh? That must be something along the lines of. Uh, what the Admiral was implying. Uh, bring it up on scans. I want to watch this. Aye, sir. Ah, damn you, Eternity. Sir, hostile conflict just warped in. It, it's the right as... Defensive formation. All head full. Okay, we yes. got the uh, outmember signal a bit to the left, uh, down left. left what? Uh, go what for the left now. What was that? I have no... You're shooting at something. Yes, okay, I know. Prepare for incoming fire. Ah, they're picking us up. The fighter? The gun ranger. Oh shit. There, that is a battleship. I'm pulling off, I just... CDF formation forward. All ships, engage! Engaging red antenna. Hey, firm, pull up closer to me. Take a deep breath, just give us a target, give us a name. One. Right, re engage resolute. Salient is taking severe damage. We're really pushing it, pushing that trigger. Wow. Ravager has taken superficial damage. Then all charging in. Pulling out of position. Immense hits on Salius class. Yeah, the Salius class is in trouble. Again, 180 degree what? turn, engage from the rear. 
Doyle's in trouble. Everyone, on me! We gotta take some heat off of her. We know it was pretty sweet enough. It's lousy here, hold on. Okay, engage the Outlander. I'm pretty sure the Celius is up. Yeah, he paid the rabbit jump. She's at long range. Point defense is active. This is the Midnight Oil. We're not going to last long here. There's some failures across the board. Hang in there, Oil. The cavalry has arrived. Riders, circle the wagon. Hold the line at all costs. Sir, CDF is leaving from the AO. Maintain defensive formation. Tend to the wounded. He's lost the criminal and serious. Damn. All right, that's enough. Issue the retreat. Damn you, eternity. Hey, get Brock here. Thanks for watching. If you've uh, made it this far, some quick pointers. I'll put this in the comments below. Episode 2 through 5 was a quasi-intro. The interactions, the, the story, the uh, battles, all that was still legit, but they were quasi-forced, as in I told pe people to be at certain places at certain times, just so we could introduce all the factions. Um, and I told them to read up on their lore, so when we had conversations, you know, they actually made sense. God damn it, phone. Anyway, that concludes the 2 to 5 episode intro. And now, from here on out, the series is borderline completely 100% unscripted. So, just a heads up. Hey, and if you enjoyed it, go ahead down in the comment section below. Make sure to comment. I've been told that drives the algorithm. Who the hell knows, but.